call the rabbi. Community members rushed to put out the flames and call fire crews to this Vancouver synagogue. Jewish leaders say at about 9.30 Thursday night, someone poured fuel and set a fire in the front doorway. No one was hurt, but the rabbi says the attacker must have known that would be the time worshippers would be leaving. It seems very brazen for someone to, to attempt this, and it obviously makes us feel very vulnerable. It's the latest in a string of similar attacks in Canada's biggest cities. With Montreal police called Wednesday night to a Jewish school hit by gunfire. Just days after the community rallied outside a Toronto Jewish girls school, also struck by bullets, with suspects seen fleeing in an SUV. And we should all be concerned, not just at the attacks that have taken place, but about what's, what, what's likely to come next. At a public meeting, Toronto police laid out new figures showing reported hate crimes reaching a 10-year high. Anti-Semitic acts alone doubled in 2023, coinciding with the October 7th attack in Israel. What concerns me the most is um, also the, 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 the clear fact that there's underreporting in, uh, in some types of hate crime. Muslims also accounted for one of the most commonly targeted groups, with this suspect caught on video throwing rocks at a Toronto area mosque. There's over two thirds of hate crimes that, that happen that the police probably aren't aware about. The Prime Minister said on social media, this is not the Canada we want to be, while this Liberal MP rose in the House of Commons. Enough is enough. Canadian Jews have a right to be safe in our country. Both here in Toronto and in Vancouver in recent days, police have said they're stepping up patrols near Jewish institutions. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.